Hi everyone, welcome back to Guitar Emerge YouTube channel. All right, we're going to continue on our Spark 40 series. So far, we have covered uh, five different videos. We did the playthrough, you just using the M. Okay, we did uh, playing of the smart jam features of the Spark 40. We did a ambient sound or ambient patch which can be downloaded on Tone Cloud. We also did a John Mayer patch as well. Both can be downloaded via the Tone Cloud. And uh, the last one we did was using an acoustic guitar and through the Spark 40 and we want to show how it sounds uh, using an acoustic instrument. Alright, so today what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go back to our electric guitar and with our trusty uh, James Tyler Studio Elite. Alright, we're going to uh, run through all the different uh, drive pedals that is available in the Spark 40. Okay, so we run through one by one and you want to hear what is the tonal difference uh, from each pedal. Okay, so I'm going to keep the rest of the pedals the same. So the noise gate is on, compressor is on, okay. Compressor, I'm using the LA Com. Alright, um, the M, okay, I, I chose to use a tweet bass, probably like a Fender Bassman uh, M, alright, because uh, it has a very large sound and nice, great cleans on this one. So, um, yeah, we want to push this M and see how distorted or how overdriven can we get uh, just by using the pedals itself so we're going to keep the M to clean and use the pedals to push the M alright uh, I'm going to leave the modulation off okay I'm going to on a slight vintage delay and also a slight reverb using the uh, short plate okay so again uh, this patch will also be uploaded on the tone cloud uh, however of course the drive sound we probably will going to keep it to only one drive sound because we cannot upload multiple drives right so we're just going to use one drive okay so let's just kick start uh, by just playing something so this is the basic clean tone that we have So that's the bass tone okay so right now let's run through the different drive sounds okay so when we click the drive okay the very first option that you have is a booster so of course by the definition of booster okay uh, is enhancing either your volume or it gives you a kind of like a fatter sound so if you look at it in terms of a pedal you might want to think of a uh, prism Okay, the Jackson Audio Prism, you might want to think of uh, JFAT, you know, the kind of, uh, the, the kind of a circuit, alright? It just enhances the tone a little bit. So I'm going to off it one more time, so... That's the bass tone, okay, booster on. So you can hear that that the, the sound becomes fatter, all right. Uh, there's a little bit more drive because you're pushing the amp a little bit harder right now. Uh, it creates a thicker tone. Okay, so you can use this booster drive as something that if you don't want to gain up too much, you just want a little bit more edge to the sound, a bit more breakup. Then what you can do, choose this booster drive, and yeah, it just kicks in a nice thick over a uh, thicker toner sound. Okay. So now the next one we have, alright, is a tube drive. Okay, so uh, the tube drive sounds a little bit like 808. Probably it is because it uses a green color. Huh? So uh, yeah, it's a bit more like a mid-boost kind of uh, 
uh, Tube Screamer pedal. Alright, so let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> Okay, so you can hear that that uh, it adds overdrive, over a bit of an overdriven tone already. It's not as clean as before. Uh, you can also hear that the mids is coming out a little bit more, just like how 808 would, would kind of uh, create in terms of the overall tone. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's very good for doing some nice lead lines, simple lead lines. I'm still on my neck pickup. Of course, you want to push it further, you can go to your bridge, use humbucker and just push the overall tone. Okay, so for example... Yeah, very nice kind of a push, okay? So that is the tube drive, alright? Now let's go on to the next one. Okay, we have a yellow color pedal, which is called the overdrive. So it's confusing. I huh? want you have a tube drive, one is an overdrive. So uh, this mic, I I'm just suggesting it might represent a clon type kind of a sound. Also, also a little bit more midish, mid uh, mid push kind of a pedal. So again, let's hear how that sounds on the neck pickup. <laughs> Let's go back to the tube. Okay, let's see how it sounds quickly. Huh? One more time on the overdrive sound. Okay, so what kind of differences can you hear? Pretty similar in terms of EQ. Uh, but the tube drive has a little bit more hair, a bit more grit, okay? Uh, whereas the, the, the overdrive, the yellow color pedal, uh, is a, it has less uh, dirt, uh, but a cleaner sound, uh, just like how a clone would kind of, uh, you know, push your tone. Alright, so a very nice, nice sound. <laughs> Okay, so that is the yellow color overdrive pedal. Okay, moving on. Okay, we have a fast face. Okay, personally, I'm not a very fast guy because I'm not very fussy. No. I'm just not very, I'm just not a fast player, okay? But uh, let's just check out the sound, all right? So this is fast. <laughs> So you can hear it's very dirty, I don't have a better word, very fuzzy, you know? Uh, yeah, some people like it. It's good for actually heavy kind of lead. So very nice to push your sound into a... A uh, very high gain singing melodic kind of a lead uh, lines. Okay, so if you are you are you want something in that kind of a, a territory, okay, you can choose a fast just to push it uh, more towards that side. Okay, it, it has a very uh, nice uh, way of uh, prolonging that the kind of a tone. Okay, so that's fast for you. All right. Okay, then next we have black op. Okay, let's hear what Black Ops sounds like. 
Okay. Sounds fierce, huh? Because they use black color. So let's see what it sounds like. So I I saw the word distortion. So first re, first instinct, I will probably go to my bridge. <laughs> Push the distortion higher. Alright. Okay. Let's see what the filter does. Filter at zero. Very metal zone, huh? Filter at max. Okay, it's a very dark sound. Okay, so let's just put it in the middle for now. Something here. Wow, okay, this pedal black op actually pushes a clean M, a tweed clean M, into like a heavy, distorted uh, kind of a M, something like a Marshall or even a Fretman, you know. Uh, it just pushes the overall tone and, and you get a heavy distortion uh, kind of sound. So let's say if you're jamming with a backing track and and you 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 start off with clean, okay, you don't want to change the patch, you can just activate a black op pedal and you can go for a singing lead line from there. Okay, so that's the black op. Okay, a uh, couple more pedals like guitar muff. Okay, so what is that? Okay, again, this is a pedal that I don't really play often. So let's just check it out. Muffed sound, so guitar muff. Huh? Guitar muff for you, I have I uh, don't really enjoy it, but you know that there there, I'm sure there are applications for guitar muff as well. So be creative with what, what you have. And lastly, we have one that's called a uh, sap driver. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Uh, kind of a push in the mids as well for this this sap driver, uh, very similar to the black op. Uh, a fatter kind of a tone comparing to the black. Op. Okay, so uh, yeah, I didn't go through the two other pedals, which is the bass muff and the bass master, probably more for the bass guitar application. So out of nine sounds, minus of the two bass pedals, you have seven different kind of drive options uh, for your usage. Okay, so um, changing patches on, on the Spark 40 app is a little bit challenging now because you've got to click a few buttons here and there. Uh, so what I prefer to do if I'm jamming, uh, have a clean M or slightly break up M 
and then I'll play around with the dry sound so I can, you know, jump from clean clean lines to an overdriven line to even a heavy distorted line or even doing rhythms on with distortion. Okay, so hope this gives you a good clarity of uh, how you can select your drives and in what situation you want to use what kind of drives. And if you like this kind of videos, all right, do uh, give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, drop in the comments below uh, if you want to see something more on the Spark 40, if something that we can cover, we will definitely try to do the video for you guys and hope uh, that this knowledge uh, can help everyone out there who are the Spark 40 users. Okay, so take care. God bless. I will catch you real soon. Okay, bye-bye.